guys, it's Melanie. Happy Monday. So to kick off this week, I'm going to share with you one of the newer lipstick tags that are floating around. I recently saw Lip Gloss Leslie do this one. I will list her video down below if you haven't seen it. You can go check it out there. Um, but I was really intrigued. I am definitely a sucker for lip products. I have a lot, way more than any human should ever have. But um, I, do, I do just love me some lip products. I would say eyeshadows and lipsticks, I'm probably the biggest suckers for. But I have everything pulled out here. I have the questions in front of me, and I'm going to link everything that is currently still available in the description down below, as well as um, the questions, so that if you yourself make videos, you can make this video. Let me know that you uploaded it, and I will go watch your answers to these questions. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. The first question is the most underrated lip product um, or lipstick. For me, it's the NARS Audacious Lipsticks. When these were first released, there was quite a bit of buzz about them, but people have kind of moved on. And to me still though, this formula is just, it's my favorite. It's extremely creamy, it's extremely opaque, and it's a really long wearing formula without being uncomfortable in any kind of way. One of my favorite colors is Barbara. And I'm not going to swatch all these, but I have to swatch Barbara for you because it's just the most gorgeous, rosy nude that you could ever imagine. I mean, it's just perfection. And I feel like it would look good on so many different skin tones. But the NARS Audacious just all around, I mean, I love the packaging, but the formula, the wear, the colors. I probably have seven or eight of these lipsticks. And they're expensive, they're not cheap, but they were worth every penny. I adore them. So, NARS Audacious, love them. Discontinued, your favorite discontinued. And I have two here. The first is the Too Faced Lip Injection Color Bombs. I love these. This is the color beasting. This was in a limited edition holiday package from Too Faced a few years ago. Um, but, too Faced has now done away with the color bombs, and that sucks because for me, I love these because they actually plumped my lips. They really did. This color is gorgeous, but when I put this on, I get that like buzzy, tingling feeling, and I do get plumping from this. I don't know why they discontinued them, but I'm super bummed about it because honestly, this is one of my favorite lip products. The second isn't so much... Well, it's the Luminous Cream Lipstick in the specific color Kava from Bite. I know that Bite reformulated their lipsticks, and I actually bought quite a few back in April and shared those with you guys. Um, I might link that video down below if you missed it. But the what I'm really missing here is that Bite did not release all of the old colors when they reformulated it, and Kava is one of those colors that I just loved that I miss so much. It's this beautiful mauve that is just, oh my gosh, I love this color so much. I also really like the original formula, but um, it definitely was a softer, creamier formula that maybe um, had more of a tendency to slide off on certain people or if you had lines in your lips that, you know, maybe cause the cream formula to travel a little bit. I can understand why they reformulated, but this color specifically is one that I really miss. So these two are my picks. Backups. What was this question? Sorry, I've kind of abbreviated the questions, but basically, essentially, what is your most repurchased lipstick or lip product, or what is the one that you have the most backups of? For me, this is, this is, um, it's a hard one to mention because I really, I miss this lipstick so much and I have gone through probably four of these in my like lipstick wearing life and it is MAC Viva Glam 2. I really 
miss purchasing that lipstick. Um, it is the one lipstick that I have literally gone through four of very easily. I no longer purchase from MAC because they're not cruelty free. And it's hard for me because with the Viva Glam lipsticks, all of the proceeds go to AIDS research and that was something that I really supported. But because MAC is not cruelty free, um, I no longer purchase from them. And I finished my last Viva Glam 2 probably it must have been about a year ago now, and I, I miss the color, I miss the formula, but I have found other things in terms of color and formula that I like much better that are from cruelty-free brands, but I do miss that, and it was one of my most repurchased lipsticks for sure. Uh, packaging. For packaging, I chose the Too Faced La Creme lipsticks because this is like a really slim lipstick tube, and I tend to like this particular style of like tube because it just fits my lips so well. I like it better than a traditional bullet. And um, I just, I like this lipstick in general. This is the Nude Beach, which is one of my favorite colors from them. But it's a really luxe feeling package. It's very kind of weighty and heavy. I love the gold. I love the embossing. I just think packaging wise, this is gorgeous. My favorite brand of lipstick. Okay. So for me, this is a toss up between the NARS, mostly NARS Audacious. <laughs> Although I do like the regular NARS lipstick too, but the NARS Audacious specifically, and then the Bite Beauty lipsticks. I think both of these are probably my favorite brands, especially of like high end lipstick lines. Um, I just love the formulation of these and I love the wear. I love the color selection and I have quite a few from each. So those were definitely easily my favorite two brands. I know it's kind of cheating, but anyway, um, let's see here. Where am I going? I feel like I missed one. No, I didn't. No, sorry. <laughs> Um, so the next question was favorite liquid lipstick and I got to be honest here I don't like liquid lipstick I just don't so I am changing this question to favorite drugstore lipstick and I had to give it to the essence lipsticks I think for the price these are some of the best formulations and colors that you can get at the drugstore honestly even above NYX you guys know that I love the high voltage lipsticks from NYX but I got to say, Essence has always been an amazing drugstore lipstick. This one here is in the color 03 Come Naturally. They are creamy. They are pigmented. They're just so, so pretty. And this color is gorgeous, by the way. I just, I love them. I think they're absolutely a beautiful, creamy formula. And yeah, Essence, if you've never tried any of these from the drugstore, you need to give these a try. My favorite combination. Okay, so the combination that I'm actually wearing on my lips right now is it's kind of a lot of this stuff is a little bit more recent, but I absolutely love this combo. And I am a mauve girl at heart. I love anything that is mauve like that rosy mauve. That is just what I feel looks best on me. It's what I'm most confident in. So what I have for you here is so I have a lip liner. It is the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie in the color Thrilled. And these are really great lip liners, by the way. Um, the color Thrilled is just a really pretty neutral pinky nude. And the lipstick is the Gosh Number 161 Sweetheart. This color is just so pretty, you guys. I love this. And I top it with the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker in Rose and Shine. I love this combination together. I just feel like it looks so pretty. I think it's a great year-round combination, and it just, it makes my mauve happy place extremely happy. So these three, absolutely love them, and they are a gorgeous combo for me. Um, my purse lipstick. Okay, so I actually have a lip gloss and a lipstick that I have in my purse at all times. And they are super neutral and just perfect. The first is the lipstick from Buxom in 
Um, these are, by the way, the Bold Gel Lipsticks in the color Rebel Rose. Now, I have a mini in my purse because these are obviously, these are pretty big. Um, so this is the packaging here. So I love that I have a mini for my purse, but I always use that to like apply when I'm out and about. The color Rebel Rose, again, is just a mauve mauve shade. Um, really pretty, but I love the formula of these and they're really easy to apply. And then the gloss that I always have in my purse is Laura Mercier Bear Baby, right? Is it Bear Baby? Yeah, Bear Baby. Um, this is a mini backup that I have. I also purchased the full size and then I have another mini that I keep in my purse. So these are the two that I always have with me on the go and they're a beautiful combination together and they're just absolutely perfect no matter what eye or face makeup I have going perfect, perfect combination for basically everything. So those are always with me. And then my last is my regret. So the lipstick that I regret purchasing, and it happens to be the Lorac Duchess. These are the highly pigmented cream lipsticks. Now it's not the color so much that I regret because the color is very pretty. But what I regret is just that I don't love the formula of this. It is extremely creamy and you can actually kind of tell like on the lipstick there. Do you see how the lipstick has sort of like moved around? It's so thick, but not necessarily in a good way. It does travel on me. It goes to the corners of my mouth. Um, and it makes me so sad because it's just such a beautiful color. I love the color of it. But yeah, just the intense creaminess of it travels and it gets on my teeth. It's just way thicker than I think a lipstick necessarily needs to be. It's thicker and creamier than lipstick needs to be. I feel like NARS Audacious has the perfect combination of thickness and creaminess. Um, this just a little bit too much. So this would definitely be my regret. So those are all of my answers to these questions. Go ahead and let me know some of your answers down below. And um, once again, everything that I've shown here, I will link down below for you so you can easily find it. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye.